Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading will be for Thursday, and that is going to be March, let me check my calendar here, March the 24th. And we're using the Fairy Tarot Cards by Doreen Virtue, and let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all angels, light beings, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And we have the Three of Winter. We have card number five, Unity. And we have the King of Spring. Okay, so Three of Winter. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful snow scene. And I love the bear. And he's so calm. And he's walking along. Uh, it looks like a, a beautiful, beautiful tree in the background covered with snow. Snow is falling. Everything is completely white. It's so peaceful. And the Three of Winter reads, Reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from the situation. Sadness that will heal with time. So... We need that trusted friend that we were talking about yesterday, the day before. We need that family member to lean on. Don't keep things inside. A lot of us are going through very emotional times. I mean, the whole world, okay? If you see what's going on in the news, see what's going on all over the world, in, in people's families, among friends, it could be a time of chaos. It could be a very, very draining experience that you're going through right now. But this is telling you to reach out to people. People are more than willing to help you if you ask them to. Like I say, just like the guidance from your angels, they won't intervene unless you ask. Some people might not even realize how tough things have been for you or that you need someone to talk to. You'd be surprised that the people around you are probably going through the same things you're suffering with right now too. And unless we open up to people and start discussing these things, we're going to keep it bottled up inside. And it's only going to manifest itself in the body as an illness because where the mind goes, the body follows. So if you have all the stuff going on in your mind, all of this worry, self-doubt, maybe regrets, sooner or later, it's going to manifest into something worse. So it's good to confide in a friend or family member. And how gentle you know this bear is usually a big bear like that would be intimidating but the energy here in this card is an energy of of unity and and you know basically gentleness and when i look at it it says you will grow strong from the situation sadness that will heal in time yes yes we grow from every experience we have no matter how bad, no matter how awful it is, in the end, you will emerge as a stronger person. Things can't always be happy and sunshine. And, you know, we've got to go through the tough times to realize how great and how good it is when we have the good times. If we didn't have that contrast, we wouldn't be able to really be so grateful like we are when things start going good. And this is saying, you know, cry, let it out, confide in somebody. Don't bottle it up. And that time will heal all wounds. And things happen for a reason. So maybe you say goodbye to somebody in your family that was negative and toxic this week, like the cards were saying. You may be surrounded by people that just have this negative, toxic energy about them. And maybe you've distanced yourself and now you're feeling lonely. But really, you need to do that for yourself. If someone's wearing you out and draining you emotionally, and was at the beginning of the week, we had that card about codependence. And again, it could, you know, doesn't necessarily need to be an addiction to alcohol or drugs. It could be an addiction to a person in your life. This is telling you there's going to be some tears. You're going to emerge stronger and things are going to be okay. You know, by next month, this will be water under the bridge. And let's see how the other cards line up in this card, number five, Unity. And it's a beautiful, beautiful periwinkle color. 
and it's saying do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you, a spiritually minded community. And that's what we are here. That's exactly what we are here. Spiritually minded people sharing experiences, giving guidance and advice. There are so many people out there that could help you. Just by watching these videos, I'm hoping that I'm helping people out there. I'm sharing what I know from experiences and my spirituality in hopes to help someone out there that might not know where to turn. You know, we don't all have friends and family that are close or available for us to discuss things with. And sometimes when we're going through the worst of times, it seems like we're the only one that's going through this, that everybody else's life looks so perfect except ours. Trust me, it's not true. My life is far from perfect. I've gone through some really terrible situations. I've emerged stronger. I'm able to do these videos for the people that may be going through things that feel that they are alone because we're not alone. We're all in this together. And that's exactly what unity is. You know, gathering together, you know, exchanging comments. Um, this here is saying a spiritually minded community. Do the right thing. Even if it means standing alone. I always say that. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for what you feel is right, even if it means standing alone. Because in the end, you have to live with yourself and your conscience. And making the right decision that's the right thing for you is the most important thing. And then the last card is the King of Spring. And what a lovely, lovely card. And he's standing there all majestic, and he's, he's you know holding out this wand. And it says, a financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now, an unexpected supporter of your cause. So maybe this has something to do with the self-employment we were talking about. Maybe there's somebody out there that's noticing that you're making changes in your life and, and they want to, you know, go along with you. I've had a few people wanting to collaborate with me that are astrologers and maybe form something together where it's like a, a, a tarot type of, of reading as well as astrology and natal charts. There's someone out there that maybe wants to partner with you. Maybe you have an idea to turn something into a business. And this is saying here, financial windfall, saying innovative, inspiring, wise, and theatrical. And you may be a leader. You may be the one leading a group. You don't know. Maybe you'll decide to make videos like this. But whatever it is, it seems to me like someone out there may be interested in the same thing you are and may be interested in collaborating with you. And an unexpected supporter of your cause. Yeah, maybe there's someone in the background in your life that really doesn't say much to you but has been noticing exactly the changes you've been making. And they're behind you all the way. Sometimes people won't speak out about things, and we don't know what's going on in people's minds when they look at us or they listen to us. But there's a supporter out there for your cause. And again, if we combine each other into these groups spiritually, there's so much on social media as far as groups of interest. And when like-minded people get together, again, it, it could turn into something that maybe you can become self-fulfilled, self-employed, and to me, it looks like financial windfall. <laughs> Who wouldn't want a financial windfall? Uh, very interesting for today. Um, let me know in the comments down below if, if anybody's approached on anything as far as, you know, someone who's been, you know, keeping an eye on them and, and, and comes forward and says you're doing a great job or, or maybe someone who wants to collaborate on a project with you. Very interesting. I'll be looking out for someone uh, today as well to see who would like to maybe, you know, partner with different things that I'm interested in or even just have a good discussion about them. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.